I'm here to talk about <coughs> skewing an image, getting it straightened out. Uh, there's different ways of doing this. First thing I would do is crop it down to the approximate size. I have this picture in a museum that I want to adjust. So the first thing I would do is go to the crop tool, which is modify. I'm using elements 11. And make sure you have enough space. Pull it over here. We can adjust this later on. <coughs> got that done. I'm going to put some edges around here. I just go into the corner here. I'm using Photoshop Elements 11. I'm on the Expert tab. What I'm going to do is duplicate this layer. I'm going to hide that bottom layer and I want to just talk about skewing. The first thing you could do is just go to the Selection tool, the Move tool, and what you can do here, you go into the corner, hold down the Control key, um, and you just drag it the corners like you could see that there sometimes you end up dragging the picture and I go in over here going like that it's getting a little bit straighter and I'm going over here getting a little higher oops I'm rotating it but I'm gonna do this deliberately okay <coughs> pushing this up a little higher what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna go to the crop tool and there's things you can do in here. I'm going to click on image, rotate, and what I'm going to do is say straighten and crop image. Takes a moment. <coughs> eh, didn't do the best job. Sometimes it works. So I went through this once here. Okay, I'm going to delete this layer. I'm going to go. To this layer here which is the one that was <coughs> recomposed I could just undo and use this layer here that's the layer here that's the one I want to work with again so what I want to do here I want to talk about the other features here image rotate you've got <coughs> custom you could say just to type in an angle like let's say 25 I know this is gonna be a disaster and it did 25 degrees I'm gonna undo that I'm gonna go back into here image rotate uh, you could flip and other things here straighten and crop image here uh, if I go to crop I've got that there. I could go over here, pull this down a little bit more. It's still a mess. I'm going to go into other things. Just give me a moment. Because I want to get this thing cropped into the frame and everything. So what I'm going to do next, I click on image, rotate. I go into, oops, rotate custom not that one sorry I did that already image don't want that one here I'm trying to get to transform but it won't let me do that because it's grayed out so I'm going to go into this layer here click on the move tool I'm in this layer here and what I'm going to do now it's locked I can't do that I click on that thing here and just say okay and now I can move it around get it back here so I got that in here I want to click on image transform you got these things here control T uh, I can go over here You can see it takes <coughs> a bit of time to get used to using the mouse with this here. So I'm doing the skew. I've got that straightened there. Got that straightened there. And as you can see, I got this side done. 
I could say OK and do another skew on here. And I'm going to say OK. I'm going to pull this down, make it smaller. It's going out of the corner. I know I'm making this complicated, but I'm trying to show you all the features. Have that in here now. Just click there. I have it there. Now, what I could do here, I could try just try the control key. That often does the job, okay? And I could go over here and I know it's still not right if you want to get things really accurate you can click on view click on grid it shows things in here where you could just see it and get it very scientifically done I'm just going to shut it off temporarily I'm going to go back into image transform we did that I'm going to do skew you can get really crazy with this. Let's try to get this thing straight. It's getting a lot straighter now. Skew. So I've got that there. I'm just going to undo. I'm going to show you the other one. Layer. Not layer. Image. Transform. distort. I did that already. Or I could go like that. You can get really, if you want to get things angled into something where you're doing some graphic design, it is very, very useful. You may want to do something very surreal. I'll hit the escape key to get out of this. I'm going to go to image, transform, perspective. What this does here if I go into the corner, I can make it like a skyscraper from above, or I can make it like a skyscraper from below, where I'm looking up at a very tall thing. I'm going to hit the escape key. Let's say I want to get this thing finally positioned and looking like a picture from my term paper. I will click on image. I will go to transform. I will most likely do <coughs> the skew. It's going in like that and then I could say good and then I'm going to go into the crop tool and go around here and I could always use the arrow keys here. I could see it's a little bit off here on the left side. I have that done. Now what I need to do here is do a little bit more adjustments here image transform skew and then I could just go pull this right over pull this to the right go into each corner it's actually a lot easier than what I'm making it sound like and I can go back into this corner here and I'd say okay and now I'm on the crop tool still and then I could just go into here and I've got the picture I can auto enhance it if I like to I may not like the color what I did here uh, it was shot without flash in the museum I go into the lighting and I could just do it here keeping the RGB on pull this over I got the preview on and so I have this studying paper where I can now save it and insert it in my file or my report or my website.